Hi, welcome to Video Tutorials. I'm Mercot27, and today I'm going to show you how to build a window. As a request from one of our viewers, I'm going to quickly snap together a house and show you how it's done. First, I'm going to have a respawn gizmo in place. This will give me a good set of scale. A lot of the house building will be used with snapping on and a lot of duplicating. We'll get a good first floor entrance here. That's a thick wall, so I'm gonna make it a little thinner. And I'll grab this snap point and snap it to that. To make it even with that, I'm gonna grab this box here and snap it to that point. Now to duplicate the wall to that side, I'm gonna select this wall, duplicate it out, and pull the arrow so it's aligned with that. I'll grab this corner. Now we're left with a box. These walls are a little high. Hey Siri, what's 10 feet in meters? 10 feet is 3.05 meters. Objects property panel, go to attributes, go to scale, 3.05. That's gonna leave me a length of 10 feet, which I'll snap to the floor there. Select all the walls and bring them down to 10 feet. Now I've got 10 feet ceiling in the house. I could just eye out the doorway opening. Six to seven foot doorways are most common. And one at the back. I will just snap it. Now to just put these doors into place. Maybe make it a little thicker there. And I'm really just going to grab this wall. I'm going to grab this box. And I'm going to, with the duplicate on, pull it to there. I'll grab this, the main wall again that I had just pulled and pull it there. And I can dupe it one more time. But this time I'm going to slide it with the arrow to that side. And you're left with the doorway. My next tip probably for building houses would be to rough everything out in a box form and do the ground first. So start with the areas that you want to have ground and just kind of have fun with it. It is whatever you want to create. You can't forget about windows either. We've got doors in, but definitely want to put some windows in too. And until we can actually punch a hole into an object, we are left making our windows like so. I'm just snapping these to the middle, pulling them up a line so they will be exactly aligned in the center of both of those spots where I want them. If you really want to save time and slide the whole thing over. So we got some windows in and it's starting to come together. When you're building something like this, try and build it thinking about what your last step will be. So if you're wanting to build say a basement, plan on making sure that there's going to be an entry and where it's going to be. Rough it in. So I'm gonna put stairs that go like this down into the basement. We've got the duplicate tool selected and see this point here, if I grab this point, I can duplicate off of that point. On the right side, you see that array function. And if you press joystick over to array, it's going to continue duplicating with equal distance between the stairs. And just kind of move things around, get a feel for whatever layout you want for your house. I mean, if you want to finish it off with just a simple roof, in the end, I usually go with one of these. And when I see something like this, for instance, I'll highlight it, grab the scale cube, and I'll snap it to this corner here. Now this world, if you have two unique wallpapers on either side of the wall, we're actually gonna take this one, grab the scale cube, duplicate it, and put it in half. We're gonna grab this outside one, scale it, half. And we've got two unique sides of the wall and don't forget about the trimming on all of your doors and windows we'll do another 10 foot ceiling on the second floor they are looking more like a house i'm gonna add a quick roof on it i'm gonna group every wall and i'll grab the center point of this and I'll put it right in the middle of that grouping i'm gonna ungroup that one now I'm going to group this one and this one. I'll get the center point between there. And it might look a little basic now, but this is definitely the best way to box it out. You can remove the roof, work on it on the inside. To get a more uniform look, we're going to snap that there, pull it up to this floor, how much it needs to come up. 
Pull the roof down, much better. And today I'm gonna show you how to build a window. For starters, I like to make sure that my snap to point is on both. Angle is at 15. So we're gonna start with the outside of the window. Now we got a box. Interior edge of the window. I'm gonna grab this snap point here and stick it to the middle one there. Colorless. I'm gonna get a brown, some wood texture on it, a line texture to object, turn that off. This will give a nice uniform look to it. Inside one, I'm going to make a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna do the edge of the glass window. So for this, I'm going to make a tinier cube, grab it from this middle snap point and stick it right in there. Pull this up, I can go right through that one. And snap it to there. I'm gonna change the color bluey window glass look. I'll we'll switch the material to unlit. And now I'm going to install the window pane. So this is just a text object. If I write an eye in there, this is gonna act as the pane. To make it transparent, I'm gonna input the code, which is less than alpha equals hashtag 40. 60 would make it darker, but I like less maybe even 20. There, so now we have our transparent shape. I'm going to shape it so it's not so thick. I'm gonna grab it from the bottom snap point to the middle there. And I'm just going to stretch it out into shape. Please note that when you are stretching it, it will pull from either end. So if I pull it from the bottom, it's gonna pull from the top. And I've gotta readjust it. And uh, one final part, I'll actually use another text object. And this one will make some shine on the glass. I'm gonna keep it at alpha. I'm gonna change the color of the window I just made to blue. And to make the shine on the glass, I'm going to do an underscore line break dash line break period. It'll give me this. I'd like to close that gap there a little bit. So this break, I'm going to actually do line height equals minus 0 0.01 and that'll bring it closer now just to put this in place and that's a uh, pane of glass right there if you don't want people jumping through your pane of glass have something solid in it in the middle like that or what you can do is take a shape make it invisible and make sure it is collidable and you can just put that in there and that's how I make my windows in Horizon Worlds. I think we'll scale them just to fit nicely. Center of them is a bit offset because of the text shape within. Position these into place. So with these windows, to get them to fit to a different shape, and actually just slide it into a new place so I'm not distorting the shapes within. And I think this is just to personal preference, however you want to build it. So yeah, you can either stretch them out as a group or you can just ungroup them and slide it right on thank you so much for joining me today my name is Mercot 27 please don't forget to lightly caress that like button and ring that bell we'll see you next time bye <laughs>